the best revenge is success, point blank, and the period with a T. Hey, hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, the book and magnet. Welcome back to another episode of Motivation Monday with the Hollywood Brown Actor Podcast. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this week. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so juicy. There's going to be something that blows my mind this week in the most amazing way, by the way. I'm already calling that forth and I'm passing that on to you. Let's be amazed at this week. Oh, what I want to put in your spirit today. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I'm laughing because... I hope this resonates with you. I want you to remember today that the best revenge is success. Period. With a T at the end. You know, sometimes we can get so wrapped up in what people think. And listen, if you're an artist, no matter what age you started, whether you started as a child or as an adult, maybe you are starting a whole new chapter. Maybe you've retired and now you're becoming an actor and people are looking at you weird or people are naysayers and telling you what won't happen and telling you you're crazy to be even pursuing this dream and why don't you get a real job and be responsible and instead of living that crazy actor life, like you know how hard it is. Like all the negative stuff that I know we've all heard at some point, from somebody with a limited belief, you know, someone who's never walked a mile in our shoes. <laughs> I want you to remember, like, save your breath, save your energy, <laughs> right? Sometimes we can fall victim to wanting to prove to people about how good we are and how great we're going to be. And, oh, you just wait and see. You know, you don't need all that. Save that energy. You know why? Because in my experience, I've had a lot of naysayers in my life and, and they, they've showed up in different ways and they've said things in different ways in different ways, little sly remarks here, a little, you know, I remember my old nine to five, there was a, a, a one of my coworkers years ago. I think I was out of the office for whatever reason. And this particular person was also trying to pursue a, a career in the arts in a, in a very small way. And I remember overhearing something was misfiled or something like that. And I heard her say, well, if Christine wasn't so busy trying to be a superstar, maybe the blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I remember taking a pause for the cause. And I remember saying to myself, don't even check her. Don't even, do, don't even waste your energy. She gonna see. <laughs> she gonna see. And when I tell you, baby, the people see. They see now. So those nine to fives, those five to tens, those jobs I had where I was tired coming in or late coming in because I was up studying or had an audition or whatever, like they didn't know my vision. They didn't know what I was working for. And sometimes people know what you're working for and they're so jealous because they don't have the guts to work for it themselves in the same way. So it's easier to put you down. It's easier to tell you what's not gonna happen for you because it hasn't happened for them. And so they try to pass that limiting belief onto you. And honey, I don't receive it. I didn't receive it then. I don't receive it now. And I'm telling you not to receive it. And I'm also telling you not to even waste your energy, not even to waste your precious breath on this earth, trying to convince someone about your greatness. All you have to do is just be great. All you have to do is just show up for you. All you have to do is just live in your purpose. And they will see. Because honey, the best revenge is success, point blank, and the period. With a T. <laughs> so you don't have to do nothing else. You don't have to worry about other people and trying to prove them wrong. You don't got to prove nothing to nobody but yourself. Show up daily for your dreams. Show up daily. Be your best self. Be the best version of the artist that you are. Be excellent in all that you do. Because, because people will always have something to say, even when you're great. Because the more you shine, it just also shines a light on other people and they can't stand that shine and they don't want that, that attention. And the more you shine and the more you stand in your greatness, it reminds people of the things that they're not doing in their life. And that is hard for them to accept. So it's easier to shit on your dreams. Period. With a T. So that's all I got today. Just keep doing you. Just keep going for your dreams. 
Keep being the best you. Keep being great. And don't worry about the rest. Because people are feeling it. Oh, those people are feeling it. They're not going to like your post. They're not going to comment. They're just going to be stewing in their own stew that they done made up for themselves. And that has nothing to do with you. And it certainly has nothing to do with me. Have an amazing week. Remember that you are great. Greatness lives within you. Go for your dreams. And remember that you have a gift that the world needs to see. So don't cheat me and don't cheat you of sharing your gift with the world. If this episode resonated with you in any way, be sure to do a screenshot. Tag me on Instagram at actress Christine Horn. Join our Facebook group, Hollywood Bound Actors, so we can welcome you to our community and so that you can take advantage of some of the free training and fun stuff that we do exclusively in the group. All right, I'm going to go be great. I'm, I suggest you do the same. I'll see you next week. Bye.